In this video, I'm going to take you through series circuit containing a resistor and a capacitor. In our previous class, we talked about series circuit containing a resistor and an inductor. This is a continuation. Join me, watch the video to the end so you understand every part of the video. I have a total source voltage, which is an AC source voltage, producing a current I. This current I is passing through a series connection of a resistor and a capacitor. How do we find the total impedance in such a circuit, as well as the phase difference between the current and the voltage, since in an AC circuit, the current and the voltage are not in the same phase. So by Kirchhoff's voltage law, our total voltage V is simply equal to the voltage drop across the resistor plus the voltage drop across the capacitor. So let's see. Let's draw the phasor diagram for our C circuits. Whenever you are dealing with a capacitor, capacitor takes the negative y direction. So right now, our goal is to find the phasor diagram for our voltage and our current. Current will take a straight horizontal i. And you know that the current through a resistor and the voltage across the resistor are in the same phase. So always our voltage across the resistor is in the same phase with our current. But the capacitor will take the negative y direction. That is Vc. And this is our voltage, which is lagging behind the current by a phase difference theta. So this side becomes our VC, you can have this. So this is a simple phasor diagram for our RC circuit. From this diagram above, we can clearly see that our V, which is the total voltage squared, will be equal to VC squared plus VR squared. And this is by Pythagoras theorem. Here's our VC, here's our VR. Once you get this, you know that the total voltage in an AC circuit is equal to the total current times the impedance Z, all squared. Our total voltage across the capacitor is equal to the capacitive reactance times the I, total current, all squared. The voltage across the resistor is equal to the total current passing through the resistor by the total resistance R all squared. At this point, I'm going to get I squared, V squared, XC squared, I squared, plus I squared, R squared. Then I divide through by my I squared. I'll be left with z squared, which is impedance squared equals xc squared plus r squared. Then my z, which is the impedance, becomes equal to xc squared, sorry, plus r squared. This is how we find the total impedance in an RC circuit. You take the square root of the square of your capacity reactance plus the square of the resistance. Let's see the phase difference between the current I and the voltage V for our phasor diagram. So, our theta is simply C. This theta is simply equal to tan inverse of what? Our what? VC over what? Our VR. Is that not it? So let's see. You are going to get tan inverse of our VC of our VR. And our VC is the same as I times XC 
vr is same as i times r and this and this will cancel and my theta with the phase difference will simply be equal to tan inverse of xc over r and it's our phase difference between the voltage and the current in an rc circuit is simply given as the tan inverse of xc which is the capacitive reactance over the resistance the current in a series rc circuit release the voltage so you can clearly see that the current here in our vc and our vr you can see that the current is leading our voltage this is the voltage so the current is in the lead by phase difference of what theta so you see that in any rc circuit the current is always what leading the voltage by what phi and phi is calculated as tan inverse of what xc over r thank you for being with me in this class see you in the next class as we talk about the combined series circuit for rl and c resistance inductance and capacitance.